welcome back to Handmade. I am Jill. There are a few things I love in this world more than a theme, a party, a reason to decorate. Now more than ever, we're trying to find little reasons to celebrate. And what better way to do that than a fiesta at home? Bonus points if it falls on a taco Tuesday. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a DIY cactus pinata perfect for your at home party. Okay, my first step is to take my empty cardboard box that I just pulled from the recycling bin and take it apart. All I'm doing is cutting it so I can open it up flat and I'm going to make my cactus shape on one of these pieces. You could trace something if you want or really just freehand. I am no great artist so we will see how this looks. Now that I've drawn the first one, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out. So you can see I didn't exactly follow the lines perfectly, but it is no big deal. It doesn't matter how ugly this thing is because it's gonna be completely covered anyway. I'm now just gonna trace this shape on my other side, trimming off a lot of this extra cardboard. So there are my two cardboard cactus. So I'm just gonna clear these out of the way. I'm just gonna use some other scrap cardboard pieces. And what I'm gonna do is make some cardboard strips maybe about a two inch thick pinata. This is what I'm gonna place in between my two cactus to form an actual 3D shape. Before I start gluing and taping it together, I'm actually gonna put down a craft mat. So now I'm gonna start building the shape of my cactus. I'm gonna use a combination of hot glue and masking tape. Again, it makes no difference what it looks like on the inside because it's all gonna be covered. And I am going to shape my cardboard follow along the edge. You can obviously make your pinata any shape you want, but I would suggest going with a pretty basic shape or outline to make this part a little bit easier. So there is my basic shape, my layer, see, three dimensional. So now I'm just gonna glue the top part on. First, I'm gonna trim off this little overhang. I'm just going to glue along the edges of some of this cardboard. I gotta work fast on this one. You don't have a ton of time. Get some on the other half. I'm gonna finish up this side. So that is glued together, but I am going to kind of even out some of the sides. So I think it looks pretty good, pretty even. So this is glued together pretty well, but I'm just gonna add some masking tape to some areas that maybe I want reinforced just a little bit more. This is mainly just to secure some areas that are kind of fragile, like this top curve. Okay, you could totally stop here and start working on your fringe, but because I wanna be sure that none of these pictures or words show through, I'm gonna do a little extra step. And I'm gonna cover this box with regular tissue paper, just like you would use when wrapping a gift, and some glue adhesive make fast work of this because we don't care how it looks. All good, pretty much all covered. But before I move on to the fringe, I'm gonna work on the trap door. I am first going to stuff my pinata. I just have some leftover confetti from a birthday party. Now you can stuff it with anything you want. Candy for kids, you could do some more fun things for adults, little mini bottles of tequila or whatever you desire. Okay, I'm happy with that. This is gonna be my trap door. I'm gonna cut just a little slit. I have some ribbon here, two colors, just really for looks, but I'm going to find my middle point and I'm going to poke this through my slit. Tie a knot in this. I'm gonna double knot this just in case. To give it a little extra support, I'm gonna stick a little bit of tape on the top of there. Now, I'm gonna glue this around the bottom. I love the idea of a pull down string pinata though because I went to a four year old birthday party recently and kids with the stick, it was scary. Much prefer the idea of them being able to pull a string. Let this dry completely, and I'm gonna start our fringe. Okay, it's finally time to start adding our fringe. You always wanna start at the bottom because we're gonna be going up in layers, but 
All I'm gonna do is use my hot glue gun to cover that bottom. I am just gonna keep turning and gluing. One done. I'm really glad I did the extra step of the tissue paper though, because even though it doesn't seem to make a huge difference, this crepe paper is still pretty thin, so I'm glad that what you can see below it is green and not the words of the box. I was debating the best way to do the sides, and I really think I'm just gonna cover this side first, and then I can go around it. I just measured out how much I need to do this piece. And I'm gonna cut a few pieces this size. I'm just gonna do one kind of from the bottom. I'm just gonna curl it a little bit. Just, so you still get some of that fringe, but most of that's covered. Just like the rest of the body, now I'm just gonna glue some more pieces. That's pretty good on the side, because then I think you can keep coming over the front again and go all the way across. I'm literally just gonna make another strip right here. Now you can see it covers up most of that hump. I'm just gonna go over on around. So I'm approaching this other hump. So I think I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did on this so that I can just kind of keep working my way around. With this guy, I think I'm just gonna go through this one now instead of all the way around. Kind of think just a little bit overlapping just so we get it all covered. Okay, a thousand years later, my green is done. It was a little bit tedious, but not at all hard. So listen to a good podcast or music while you do it. But we're not done. We're gonna add some pink flowers right on the top. So a while ago, Marianne made a handmade video showing us how to make crepe paper flowers. And I'm gonna use the easiest method of the three that she did and make just a basic flower to go on the top of each of my cactus arms. And streamers or crepe paper stretches pretty easily, but you still have to be gentle not to tear it. But I'm just kind of going through and pulling it a little bit, fluting it at the top, looks a little more decorative. She wrapped hers around a floral stem, but because I don't have that, I'm just gonna start by kind of rolling some in the middle. It's gonna be my little middle mark. Now I'm gonna give it a little dab of hot glue every now and then just to make sure it's holding together. You'll see it kind of starts to take on a bit of a flower shape. I think that is good for one of my little ones. So I'm just gonna cut that off, glue it, to hold it all together. Once I'm sure that that is all glued together and gonna hold, I'm gonna snip off the bottom so that I have a very flat base to glue on my cactus. All right, now let that sit for a minute. I'm gonna stand this up. I'm literally just gonna put a dot of glue and my flower. And that's it. So now I'm just actually gonna go make myself a well-deserved margarita and get started on setting up my fiesta. Well guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below what type of pinata you're thinking about making. Don't forget to give us a like, and subscribe, and most importantly, stay home and stay crafty. Bye, or should I say, adios.